Hey guys, Dark Recycling FPV. It is Friday, February 18th, 2022, and it's right around noontime in Texas. Oh, and you can see, look, we got our new hats. Check them out. We got our new uh, hoodies. So now I'm sporting it because it's cold in this place right now. Anyways, uh, all right, so I got an RMA to do. I got somebody who sent me in their stuff for repairs. Uh, and let me just see. I'm going to go ahead and open it. It's a pretty big box. I'm just going to open it down here, and then I will uh, share with you guys what we're doing. Um, so, I mean, this guy's pretty cool. I spoke to him. Just one of those guys. It's like, look, just get to work. I'm, I'm frustrated. I'm tired. Fix my stuff. And I'm like, you know what? You got it. I can respect that. So I've got, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. So let me just see. Uh, that's cool, man. He's. I, I like the. You know, I gotta tell you, it's like, it's it's really cool when you meet people like this. You, you know, like I guess you meet them by talking to them on the internet, or you know, they they open a repair request or whatever. They just respect the work and they appreciate it, and, and I, I appreciate that. So uh, I've got this big. This is wrapped up. This is cellophane or not cellophane bubble packing. So let me go ahead and just open this up real quick. Uh, all right. So we got a QX7 Access Edition. All right. And my hope is that by helping him with this, I want you guys to you know watch. I mean, some of you could have the same questions he's having. Uh, let me see. He does he have a battery in here? I don't see a battery. It does not power on. All right, so I'll put one in there most likely. Uh, he sent us his drone, the Flywoo. Uh, and I think he had a binding issue with this one. So let's see. Let me open this up. And then let me open his um, let me open his RMA notes as well, just so I can make sure I've got the right information. So we tackle this sucker properly. Uh, that's gonna be RMA 9646. So let me tie that, 9646, uh, all right. Let's see what we got. Okay, so first thing he's got is a firmware issue with the radio. Let's go ahead and see what's going on with that. And then I've got a bag here, it's a nice little like carry bag. Let's see what goodies are in this thing. We've got another controller. Okay, there's a second quad in here, and I hope there's notes on this one. Cause I, hey, Sam, is there anything that you remember on his RMA for a second quad? No? Uh, no. It's fine. Okay, so I'm going to get a battery for this one because I don't think he sent a battery for it. So let me just get a battery to run, and I'll pull. Oh, oh wait. No, wait. I have one. I have one on my desk. I wonder if this will work. I just keep this handy, and it looks like it might work. So let's... First of all, work. There you go. Excellent. It's always good to have a little handy. Uh, I don't know if it'll close with this on there. Probably not, but I uh, will do that for now. Okay, so let's see what we got. Let's just boot this up and see what we got. Okay. Okay, so I don't hear any audio, so I definitely, there's no, okay, there's no SD card. Let's flip the switches up. Okay. Uh, and let's go to our main menu. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's running 2.3.12. And then let's see, internal modules off on this one. All right, so let's go ahead and do a firmware flash on this to 2.3.14. And at the same time, I'm gonna go get an SD card. So give me one second, I'll be right back. Let me go get this gentleman SD card so we can do it here properly. Hey, you moved the line. Can you please get up there and find that SD card for me? Is that card? Yes. Alright, so we're gonna wait for Sam to get those SD cards and at the same time we'll go ahead and get open TX ready. So let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, OpenTX is loading, and I'll share with you that screen here in a second. So what we're going to do is, there we go, we're going to get this ready. Power this off. Uh, let's get our cable. What's that one? That's a 32 gig. I need a 16 gig. That's the problem. There, sh there should be a 16 gigs sitting up there. Where'd that one come from? Uh... Well, I brought some. Either they were in the bins that were near the front door. That's okay. That what, is that where you pulled that one? No. Okay. See if those are 16 gig. 
Are they? Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna plug in the radio. We've got the memory card coming. Thanks, babe. Will you please remember that I'm not as tall as you? I mean, I can't see what's up there. She doesn't get it. She doesn't get it. I love you anyway. It is clean, but short people can't see the inventory. I gotta, I gotta represent short people. All right, anyways. Okay, so we're gonna take the memory card. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and insert it in here because you need to have a memory card. To properly use these radios, have a memory card, okay? Um, so we'll deal with that. All right, so now let's go ahead and uh, I think what I'll do first is I'm gonna turn this on. Okay, all right, I'm gonna plug this in and we're gonna use it as storage mode just so I can see this pop up on my screen. I want to see the SD card. I want to be able to access it like normal. Everything looks good here. All right, so, uh, all right, okay. All right, so let's do this. Let's power it off. Okay, now we're gonna put this, there we go. Let's get it ready and we're gonna do our full firmware update, okay? So I'm gonna go, I think I just did a QX, oh yeah, I did. The last radio I did was the QX7 access. So let's go ahead and, um, Let's write our firmware to radio because I've already done this one. I just got done working on one for another customer. So we're gonna go ahead and write this to the TX. So we'll upgrade 2.3.14. And then that means I also must have the uh, SD card settings already. So let's go customer, QX7S, nope. Let's go to transmitters. Go to customer QX7 access. I don't know why I've got these in two different folders, but here's the SD card. So let's go to firmware, okay, and he's got, so we're gonna put the ISRM information on both. Uh, so I'm gonna take this here, and while that's going, I'm gonna take this, and actually I'll wait, I'll wait. Let me make sure this is done. Okay, so it's done here. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to copy the SD card contents. So I'm going to click, uh, let me see, transmitters, QX7 access SD card, and we're gonna select, um, great, it's not on here, so I will have to format that. Okay, so we'll leave that alone, let's close that. All right, so we did our firmware update at least uh, on the board itself, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a safe eject here well, here, it's right here, eject US drive D. So where is, is it? it's right here. So why am I not? You know what, I'm just gonna copy it to D here, and I wanna paste it, I don't wanna worry about it. So let's just paste that real quickly. I'm gonna move the contents over. Now, the only thing is that, and if you go to, if you open the web right now, and I mean, I've downloaded this 100 times. Um, if you open the web and you go to Free Sky's website, right? So if you go to the, uh, let me type it in here. Uh, freeskyrc.com and if you go to the QX7 uh, download page the internet's moving very slow right now Good lord okay so if you go here and you go to your downloads right and find your QX7 uh, access it'll be one of the first ones here I think uh, Tyrannus uh, QX7 access right here okay So you're gonna have this ISRM. So you're gonna need both of these, the 2.16 and the 1.1.3, because if he's running in the old firmware, ACCST firmware, uh, then and, and it's it's the 1.1. 1. 1. whatever, 1.1.3 1. 1. or whatever, then he's gonna need this one. If he updates them, then he's gonna need this one. And then he'll have to get the same version, 2.1.x for his receiver. Now Flywoo, I believe, puts a sticker on theirs or has a note on theirs that if they're using FreeSky, um, they're using the, um, newest version of the firmware which is going to be 2.1.x so i'm going to download this here now i've already i think i've already done that though so let me go check my downloads because i'm pretty sure i keep doing this all the time qx7 access 2. Point, that's it right here okay so and this is it extracted and we're going to take that and that's the firmware right there so i'm going to copy that and i'm going to put it in his here on the firmware TX and we're gonna put it right here 
So if he runs the old one, he switches to this. If he runs a new one, which he's going to be running, he switches to this, okay? So that's that. Now, on the flip side, I'm looking at this Flywoo, and it looks like he's got... Uh, i got to see, actually. It's kind of hard to see, but let's see. Uh, oh, it also looks like his antenna is... What's going on here? No, that's fine, I guess. Okay, so let me see what this is. It looks... Well, the antenna's gone. No, the antenna's just right there. All right, so we are running the... Can't read it. I have to put it under the thing. So give me a second. So he's running the R9M, and his module on the back is the access version of the R9M. Okay, that's fine. Problem is, is the R9M and the R9M... Let's look here. The R9M is ACCST. By default, it was, and you could upgrade it. The r 9 over here so what we're going to do is we're going to go back here because this may not help him much but i'm still going to take okay so that's still in there and i'm going to make him a folder here this is on his d drive right so let's go new folder let's go oops wrong spot let's take that cut go here here paste and let's do the um R sky rx dash fw okay because what we want to do is we want to go now to downloads products let's go to 900 megahertz receivers and here's the problem so it's not the r9 mx uh it's not the r9 it's here r9 this is, this is where they screw up. So there's no such thing as an R9M receiver. I remember I had, I went rounds with a guy about this. Uh, so there's no such thing as an R9M receiver. There's an R9 Mini and an R9MM, okay? Um, and Flywood really needs to fix that because some, some guy decided to tell me I didn't know what I was talking about. And I decided to tell him that um, I would give him a grand if I was wrong. So what we want to do is we want to look, no matter what, we're going to end up opening this. I just, I mean, Fly, Flywood needs to change that because it's not an R9M. And so you cannot find the firmware like that. So let's go ahead and take this off. Let's, maybe we'll write flywheel a little note. Say, hey, listen, can you please just put the right information? All right. So what we want to do is we want to look at, and I'm going to show you guys this with the microscope. We want to look at the bottom Right here, we want to see what's marked right here. So let me just get the computer. Let me do a uh, microscope real quick. Is that plugged in? It is plugged in. So let's see if we can get the microscope to come up. Any day now. There we go. Close that. And let's get this under the microscope and see what it says. So bear with me a second because i got to focus this in. Excellent. Okay, now look right here. Okay. If that's an S then this is an R9MM, and that's what this is, okay? The S is the R9MM, and that gives us our, inver this means that this port has both inverted and uninverted S port. That's what the R9MM, the R9 Mini did not have this, okay? So if it's a clear identifying S, then this is the R9MM. So now that we know that, if why we would please go and change their information, let's close this and get back to the R9MM, and it is not an OTA, this is R9MM, I assume it's not OTA. So what we have to do is we have to go over here and you see how you have these two firmware here? So we need to make sure that we have the right firmware loaded, okay? Um, so let's look here and let's look here. Uh, firmware and we will take, I guess that's the most recent. Uh, this, hmm. All right, well, let's download. I hate to do this. Man, I wish they would have done a better job with this. Damn it. 
All right, well, we're gonna keep it with access, so let's just go ahead and we'll just download this part for now, I guess. I just don't understand what they're doing. Okay, so uh, we're going to go into our downloads folder and we're going to extract this. And there it is there. Okay, so we the LBT is fine. We're going to use the FCC only right now. So let's just go ahead and take this and cut it. And let's put it in our firmware. We made this new folder right here. Let's paste that right there. Okay, so that's running the Access Firmware 1.3.1. Now let's look at our R9. Now he's got a 2019 on the back of this radio, so let's go back to FreeSky. And, and let's go to Downloads, Products. R9M 2019, which is right there. Access firmware. Download this one. Extract it. And we're going to run that one right there. Okay. So we're going to take that, cut that, and go to his D drive. Go to firmware. OpenTX firmware, and we're going to paste this here. So, shoot, I didn't mean to put it here. Let me cut that. I meant to put it in the um, FreeSky TX, and we're going to put this right here. So we have our ISRM, which is our internal module. We have our external module right here, um, and then we have our uh, receiver module. So uh, everything needs to be updated. This thing is, is extremely uh, backwards. So now to update this module. Uh, to update this receiver, we've got to disconnect it. Hey, Sam, what are the chances that you could get me a FreeSky upgrade uh, cable? Do you have one there? One. You know, like the three pin? It doesn't matter. Just a QX7, okay. please. I, I don't, I, I'm going to have to upgrade this real quick. All right, so now we've got everything here. So what we're going to do now is let's go ahead. Now, that was a lot of work. Let's go ahead and close all this out. Let's get back to our OpenTX. Okay. And now what we're going to do is, I think we can safely, uh, let me see if it finds the drive now, though. I'm curious. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. oh, it's not responding. Did I already tell it to eject? No, I didn't. It should respond. Well, I don't have time for that, so let's just go ahead and close this out. Okay, and we'll just close this and let the system, okay. So let's just get back to work here. I'm not going to worry about that right now. All right, so what we're going to do is, Let's pull this out. We're going to click exit. Welcome to OpenTX. Hey, now we're talking. Throttle warning. Okay, bring all this down, get everything set. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, his sub trims center. are way off. Trim center. Okay, so let's go to his models. I don't know what all these are, but um, I guess we'll work with this one. So we'll work with model four. And let's see how he's got his channel set up. Okay, so he has no arm set, so we're going to do that. So let's just go to, well, I'll tell you what, let's finish the um, firmware update first. So, all right, the computer's back up and running, so there you go right there, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to power this off, and we're just going to plug this in. And I'm going to close this here because I wanna, I'm going to flash his uh, bootloader now. So all you do is keep the power off and click to flash again, and we're going to flash the same thing again. Click right to TX. There it goes. All right, this time it's going to do the bootloader. When you plug the when the radio is off and you plug it in, you do bootloader. So you have to do both to get this to work. All right. Now you can load the you can flash the bootloader from the memory card, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I just figured this would be quicker. And now we're just sitting here. It goes. Okay. So while that's going on, um, let's see. We've got to get ready to flash the. So let me turn my solder on and on because we're going to have to disconnect this here
that's going on. I'm going to try my best to just try to flash this without having to do too much. Change. Okay, so that's done right there. Good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do another safe eject here. Eject. There we go. We can unplug it. Excellent. All good. All right. Now let's get down to business here. So we have got to flash this receiver, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do it without having to remove it. I'm going to actually just solder the other side of the receiver. Uh, I'm going to need a new flux pen. Let me go find one of those real quick. And I will be right back. Excuse me one second. That's a great, that's, I don't think it's good because I think it was bad. Excellent expert analysis. Thank you, babe. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take the, I don't think it was good because I think it was bad pen. We're gonna test it. Looks good to me. I don't know. So let's go ahead and just put flux on this side. And if we can just gently solder this side of the board, I don't have to disconnect the other wire. So let's go do that. And we've got ground right here. Go ahead and put that right. Come on. And then let's put this one right here. There we go. Okay. Okay, there's the ground. There's a positive. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna hold the number. Just gonna take the S port and go straight through the hole just like that. And we're gonna hope this works. Welcome to Open TX. Okay, so now with that going on, uh, we're gonna go to our menu page here. Go to page, go to firmware, go to RX firmware, a mini the FCC, and we're going to flash the S port, and we're going to hope, yep, well, we got lights blinking. Excellent. It's very strange that we're able to, there seems to be no regulator stopping the feedback of voltage into the flight controller. Look at that. You got the flight controller lit up when you're giving the receiver power. I don't think I've seen that before. Um, I guess, no, you know what, maybe that's fine. Who cares? Uh, I guess usually I desolder the wires and that's why some of the boards will light up on that five volt. Some of them will, I guess. Now, let's see. Hold on. Hey, uh, pest control on Thursday, February 24th. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Sure, there's nothing urgent today. Everybody's off from school, so I just want to stay up on that. <sighs> All right. So first note, first thing to note, guys, is that uh, if you do get the Flywoo and it just said R9M, there is no such thing. So make sure that you ask them and try to get the details. If you see that S in the bottom, it's an R9MM. If you don't see that S, it's a little squiggle, then that's going to be R9 Mini. Uh, I don't believe they're going to be putting OTAs in here. So just, just a little note there, because like I said, I have gone rounds with this before, and I was <laughs> the guy told me I didn't know what I was talking about. I'm like, look, dude, they've never made one, so get over it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to flash this R9M, uh, R9MM to access so that it will work with his 2019, and we're going to update everything. So right now we're doing the receiver. It's about done. 
Okay, and done. Okay. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and pull that out. Let's very quickly just remove these cables. All right, now I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm not gonna wrap it up yet. Uh, actually, I think that heat, yeah, that caused the power to go off. So let me go ahead and put that back on there real quick. that take this cable out next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to update the internal module we're going to do firmware free sky tx and this time we're going to do the um we'll do the uh access module first so i mean the the 2019 so let's go ahead and do that and then we're going to do the external module so there we go you should see it start blinking there and it's going to start writing okay Oh, there's a glare there, sorry. Let's see if you can, there, that's better. Try to put something here to hold this up, maybe. Hmm, is that better? Maybe, all right. Almost done. All right. Okay, so we flashed the external module. Now we're going to flash the internal ISRM. Go back, page, firmware, VSky TX, and now we're going to do the ISRM. Whoops, click it, and then we're just going to flash this. And that's going to be flash internal module. There you go. So we're going to let that run real quick. Okay, I'm just going to get a few things done here. All right, we're still waiting, so let's that keep going. going on 
Let me see if what this gentleman was taking about his other drone. Appreciate the time. I have another drone that is just chilling here at home. I'm fed up that I effed up when I tried binding to a new radio. I didn't realize at the time that this drone could not bind to another. If you don't have time to work on the second, you got a bound to function radio. With the radio, you can keep it. <laughs> First drone described needing help fly with slower in this radio, of course. Second drone, if you have time to fix, explain how to bind to your PRC time. Okay. Okay, cool. So we'll check out the second one as well. So let's see what this one comes with. This is a GEPRC Tiny Tango, he says. And this has a, what receiver is that? Yikes, where is that? Kind of looks like an XM Plus, but I don't know. Let me see. No, that's not an XM Plus. I don't know what the hell that is. But we'll put an XM Plus on there. Then you can then you can fly both of these and it'll be hauling butt. So let's do that. Okay, everything on this radio has been updated, right? So now what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna go ahead and I don't even know what I don't even know what this is. So let me just see. Let me see what he's got set up here because he's running R9M FCC. Hey Sam. Can you, is there any way, actually, you know what, let me, let me just call the guy, I hate to do this, but I'm going to be, um, stop. I don't usually call a customer live, but I'm going to tell him that we're live so that he is a little aware of it. Hey, is this Sam? Yeah, yeah, this is Tark with Cyclone FPV. Hi. Hey, Sam. Okay, let me let me just tell you ahead of time. I'm recording your video right now, so oh, I'm great. talking to you, which means it's it's being recorded too. So let's just not say anything weird. Um, but I'm just letting you know it is being recorded onto the video. So when I play this, you'll. All right. you'll okay. Be nice. Yeah, be nice. Don't. don't, 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 don't yeah. <laughs> no, listen, uh, the question the question I have, two questions. One, well, actually, the main thing is on your QX7, you have four models on there. Are any of these being used right now? Um, I was using them. I tried to, but none of them I could get to work. Okay, so I'm going to delete them all and start from scratch, okay? Because your radios, we're okay. almost, I'm almost done, but I just want to make sure when I delete yeah. these, I didn't take anything off that you needed. So, no, no, no. The only one that I kind of like, I can reset it up, is I was doing them, them on the simulator. Well, which that. which no, which one was no that? Problem. Which one was, was that? The first one, drones, drone C E A D. Okay, I'll leave yeah. that one, and I'll do. I'll use model okay. two and three for this drone. I'm gonna take your other drone. I'm gonna bind it to this radio too, so you have one radio for both drones. Is that okay? Yes, you are amazing. Cool. Listen, not a problem. All I'll right. get it done, and I'll send you a link All to the right. video when we're done. Fun. Thanks, Sam. Right. See you, bye. Okay, cool. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and let's do this because we're gonna set this up right, right? So let's go ahead and start deleting um, his uh, models. We'll leave model one for him, but let's go ahead and we're just gonna delete, uh, wait here, let's delete model two. We're gonna delete model three. And we're gonna delete model four. All right, now let's go to model one or model two, I mean, and we're gonna create a model, all right? And this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go multi and uh, I don't care about all this. So let's just page, 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 page. Oh, isn't it page, what is it? Enter, 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 no, exit, no. Uh, okay, no, my bad. There we go, it just wasn't moving. I guess I was doing it wrong. Okay, so I don't care about any of this stuff. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna just, I'm, I'm gonna scrap this though, and I'm gonna call this one, uh, we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna call this one the um, Flywoo. So let's capitalize L-Y. And then this will be our default copy for any future ones, and I'll let him know that as well. Uh, so that he, all he has to do is copy this model over, and all the switches and everything will be set up properly. W, uh, O, O. Okay, now, first thing we're going to do on here is we're going to tell it that we want it to use the... I'm just spinning through and totally missing what I'm trying to do here because everything is turned off, so I always buzz through the... Uh, 
here we go, internal. So we want external on. Okay, so we're gonna use the R9M access right there. That's our external, okay, is R9M access. Uh, and then uh, we're gonna, and then we're gonna call this. The receiver number will be number two because this is uh, this is model number two, uh, and I think that's gonna be it, right? So let's just see first if we can bind this because I don't know if we're dealing with any other existing issues, and I'm hoping that this the firmware took. Um, I don't know. Uh, let me get this ready here okay I really wish that glare would go away but maybe that'll help okay okay we're in bind mode here hopefully his video isn't going to interrupt with what we've got doesn't look like it is and so we're going to go to register the let's go ahead and register there it is, R9. Uh, okay, well, we'll take that. Enter. Okay. Excellent. Now we'll turn that off. Okay. And we're going to click binding, turn this on, automatically bound. Okay. There we go. And look at that, we're bound. Perfect, success, all right? Now that we're bound, all right, let's power that off. We can go ahead and heat shrink that. Telemetry lost. Yes, yes, I know. All right, now let's go ahead and set up his radio so that it works properly. So let's page, page, page. All right, so we got T-A-E-R, and then we're gonna do number five is gonna be our arm. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up for arm, capital A, and then PQR is T. R and then M and hopefully he likes the way I set his switches up because this is how I do it. And let's do it again. A. Uh, A. R. Oh my gosh. R. Oh no, you don't. Oh, I'm not doing this again. I had this yesterday too. Please uh, stop. Is it done? Okay, and our source for this one is going to be SA, exit, exit, and then we're going to do our mode. So we're going to put mode here. I told you guys something I'm worried here I may have may have misspoke on something now and now I'm like really curious so let me just see um, let me check this at I want to look at something here to verify my uh, the picture to verify because when I bound these oh, I'm gonna be mad here but Yeah, okay, so the MM, okay. So no, it's right. So the MM, and, but it still registers. I was like, man, because it said R9 Mini. So it's considered R9 Mini MM, I guess. Uh, but it is the MM series, which is right. But on here, when you buy it, it says R9 Mini still. So I want to make sure I didn't have those reversed, but it, I was right. I just had to check. Okay, anyway, so this is our mode. And then we're going to flip this switch here. Okay, let's exit, exit. Now let's go ahead and do a fail safe. So we're going to just call this one fail F. Okay, how's it going, babe? What you working on? Oh, that's not good. Oh, you're not even working on work. My lord. Failed. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna click that. And we're gonna make this big one the fail safe, okay? All right, so we've got that done. So now let's go page again. And now we wanna go ahead, and this is gonna be, we need to edit this. It's the arm and the source is gonna be the arm that we just created. So where is it? Uh, it should be, there it is, there's arm. And this one, we're gonna edit. And this one, the source is not, it's not gonna be mixer. This is gonna be mode. going to go to the where's my stuff throttle arm mode there we go okay and then we're going to go to here and this is going to be our fail safe so we'll call this fail Go. So now we've got five is arm, six is mode, seven is fail. It's exactly tied in the same way. So then this is what you want to copy. So once you have your switch, so this is arm, this is mode, this is fail. It's very simple, okay? Let's go to page next. And let's see now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and throw beta flight up on the screen here. Okay. I do want to cover that up now. So let me just go ahead and do that real quick. Last thing I need is to short that out. So after all this work. Hey babe, sorry to bother you. One last thing, can you possibly get me uh, an X, just a, uh, uh, just the XM, please? I could put that on his other setup then. It's a dual antenna, I mean, you could do an XM. Uh, I don't think he's gonna be flying too far with this thing, but. Bad. I guess just an XM perhaps. If you have any, if we don't have any, I'll take an XM plus. You do? Okay, thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this back. I think this is if you want to put the camera on the top, it's supposed to power the camera, I guess, but I don't know. I just don't like having these wires laying around like that. But, oh well. All right, so we're gonna put this and we're gonna tuck the power. Right. Thanks babe, appreciate you. So we're going to tuck this back in here somewhere. Well, I thought we were, but... You okay? Why are you running? Seriously? It's 70 in here now. Oh, I see. Build up the heat. Okay. So we're going to plug this into beta flight now. So let me get my cable. Okay. And I'll show you. Yay, okay, that's great. All right. Now, let's go ahead and log in here. Or right, get in, I mean. Okay, now. Make sure everything's good. Everything is good. Everything looks good. Let's go to uh, receiver. And we should start, well, that pretty much looks like how I fly, but that's not what it's supposed to look like. Let's go ahead and drop this down to TAER, which is right here, and click Save. Awesome. Okay, now let's look at the values on his sticks here. Based on the fact that this was way off when we first got it, we're going to assume that this radio was not calibrated, okay? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to calibrate the radio first. So hold your menu button down, page, 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 page. Oh, go back one, page. Calibration. Put the sticks in the center. Get your dials to the center. All right, sticks to the center, and make sure everything's in the center, and hit enter, enter, and now just gently move all the way around. Okay, left, right, left, right, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, left, right, and then turn your dials, okay, and hit enter when you're done. Awesome, now let's look at our values. See how those are almost perfect at 1500 now, right? So the yaw, which is this one, is the only one. And I'm just gonna, okay, so if you see it like that, it needs to be at 1500 and it's not. So what you're gonna do is you can hold the page. Oops, hit your menu button, hold page. And then just tap, darn it, page, 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 page. 
uh, until you get to your outputs. And then what we're gonna do is, uh, that's our throttle, uh, let's see. See where it's 14.99 right here, and it's 14.98 in Betaflight. We're just gonna hit our button there, we're gonna click Edit, and we're gonna go down to our sub trim right here, we're gonna click it, and we're gonna turn it until Betaflight says 1500, and that is where it says it right there. Enter, exit, 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 okay. So for the most part, we'll take that, all right? Um, these can all be set to 2000. So if you wanted to do that, uh, which I guess we'll go ahead and do, we're gonna start with the first one and that's gonna be going to our min and that's our throttle. So I'm gonna go ahead and click it and turn the min to the right until I get to a thousand. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the throttle, put it all the way up, go to my max, click it and turn it all the way down till it reaches 2000 in beta flight Hit enter. Okay, I'm gonna exit out of that. I'm gonna to go to my channel two. Okay, and that is going, we're gonna click edit. And so we're gonna hold our roll and we're gonna go down to min, click it and turn it until our minimum is at 1,000. And then we're gonna take it to our max and go to our max and click it and turn it down until our, minute, our maximum is at 2,000. Awesome, back to 1,500. Exit, exit, go to the third one, edit. I believe that's gonna be our pitch there. Yep, so go to our pitch, hold it down, go down to our min. Turn it until our minimum gets to a thousand. Okay, and then go to our max. Oops. And click on that and roll it down to get to two thousand. Awesome. Okay. So now one thousand, two thousand, one thousand, two thousand, one thousand, two thousand, and now we're just going to do our uh, yaw. Okay. So we're going to edit. Go here. Do it to our min. And crank it up. Okay, and then go to our max, crank it down. I mean, this thing could be more dialed in now, okay? That's it, make sure you do that. Check your stuff, make sure, because you'll have no drift now, okay? Now, as far as our arm, look at that. Auxiliary one, arm works. Auxiliary two, mode works. Auxiliary three, fail safe works. So we're gonna go now to, I'm gonna click save. We're gonna go to our modes, and we're gonna say arm. I'm gonna delete this, and we're gonna say arm. And we're going to leave position two and three active for this what we're going to do is we're going to say add range we're going to leave that mode to be in the middle we're going to leave horizon mode to be at the end so i will take this and drag it to here and we will go with uh i don't know about gps rescue i'll let him deal with that later um beeper is fine but we will add the beeper range to be on the fail safe switch auxiliary three and we'll make it middle and last position and we will go down to our fail safe and we will use auxiliary three to make it completely last position. And then we will find our, let me click save here because there's one thing that I want to adjust. That's going to be his acro with air. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to turn off all time air mode. Okay, and what LEDs are on this thing? Is there LEDs on here? Oh, I don't see any, so I'm going to turn off. Oh, maybe there is, is there? Let me see, let me power this up. Is that the board LEDs, I guess? Fine, whatever. Um, and then what is soft serial being used for? Oh, okay, smart audio on the soft serial, okay, fine. So what I'm gonna do is, um, under my modes, uh, I did, I believe I turned off air mode. So air mode will be something that he activates when he's in first position. There's no need to have air mode under horizon or under acro. So let me just go ahead and get this going and go under modes. And then what I'll do is I'll find air mode, which is going to be right here. And we're gonna use our mode switch, and we're gonna say when the mode switch is in first position, that'll be acro with air. Okay, stupid buzzer. Click save, turn this buzzer off again. Okay, all right. So now we have all our switches. So you can see here, if I wanna arm it, I'm in arm. If I wanna pick my position, horizon, angle, and then acro with air beeper would uh, activate the beeper if the power is on and this will activate fail safe so now what we can do let's just see how it functions so let's take this and let's turn it on i'm not sure why our beeper is going off because we're not in position there
of this. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. change that. I had this before on another flight and I didn't like it where they've got it where if you flip it it holds. I don't want to do that. So we're going to go ahead and leave this. All right now let's go ahead and go to our motors and let's go to our uh, I do not like motor stop. We're going to turn that off. I want the motors to spin when I arm it. I don't know why they do that. I don't like it. Um, uh, I think that it can lead to an accident. Uh, that's my opinion and that's why when it leaves my shop it will not have that. If you want to turn that back on you can but not here. Uh, all right, so when I when this is bound, I want it to. Uh, all right, so here goes. Now our motors are running. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect. I mean, it's just perfect. This thing is running like a champ. Let me go to ports real quick. Okay, we have GPS, VTX. Okay, perfect. So this sucker is ready to fly. That's it. I mean, it flies like a champ. So let's go ahead and turn everything off and disconnect. And this flywoo is now done, and it is ready to be flown. Congratulations, you're all set. This sucker is beautiful. Telemetry lost. Now, here's what we're gonna do with the next one. So the next one, I'm gonna put this flywoo away now, and we get to go. Now, let's look at this one. Okay, so it's GEPRC. So we're gonna go ahead, and we're going to now use his radio, okay, to make a copy. So let's go to page. I keep doing that, sorry, page. So our menu button, and there we go. So we're gonna hold this down and we're gonna click copy model and we're gonna move it to three, okay? All right, now with three, now just understand, on this one, we're gonna actually put a D16 module in and we're not gonna be using the external module anymore, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to, we're gonna, oh, this battery thing keeps haunting me. Turn that off, one, two, ow, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna uh, copy model. And then we're going to hold this and we're going to slip up. So then let's go ahead and we're going to want to select this model now, right? So let's click select model. Okay. And we're going to go to page. And now we're going to change this with a GEPRC. So G, E, P, R, C. And then we'll turn this off. Okay. So let's get exit. And now what we're going to do though is we're not using just remember we're not using the external okay the the uh, external RF so we're going to turn this off now and we're going to use internal and we're going to use ACCST D16 and this is model 3 so we're going to make our receiver number read 3 just like that okay now I've got to install the receiver so what we're going to do here is let's see what they've got wired in uh, specific to theirs so my hope is that there shouldn't be any problems so let me just make sure they don't I don't know if they make mention of this or not oh my goodness okay. what we're gonna see so um, the problem I have is I don't know if this one is going to support this or not, actually. I can't read that. No matter what I put on, I can't read that right. Let me get the uh, magnifier here, the microscope, and see if I can read it on the computer.
say yes, but you kind of want to say it says S plus, but it looks like it has it. I guess you could make that out to say S plus. Cool. Well, let's. I guess let's just see. I mean, I don't know. We're gonna see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this and I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the USB real quickly, and let's see if on beta flight you can see what this is set for. Because if that is, then I'll be happy. Come on. Come on. Oh, what the hell. Okay. Connect. And let's go to receiver. What happened here, though? There's no calibrate. So there's no slot on this thing? Can't be right. F4. GE F412. To see, because I'm not getting any response from it at all, but we'll see. Alright, so that being said, let's just go ahead and assume that we're going to be able to run this on here. So I'm going to take these antennas out. Okay, that are in here. Okay, so we'll set that aside. Then we're going to go ahead and open the XM. And we're going to have to do a update, firmware update now, because we did update the ISRM module. So let's go ahead and get our cable. Okay. And then let's plan on plugging in our radio. We don't need to do an open TX plug-in. We just need to be able to plug it in. We're going to use it as a storage device. And we'll just drop the um, we'll just drop the uh, firmware directly onto the uh, drive. So now I believe I downloaded this. I know I did. Uh, XM XM Plus. There it is. Two point one point two. Uh, that's this one here. I already deleted that, so let me go ahead and just delete this. Delete. And this is what I want right here. So let's extract all. Okay. Okay, whenever you're ready, let's go. Okay, so we're going to take this. Ooh, that's a bunch of nonsense we don't need. Uh, so we're going to be running uh, 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 XM, not XM Plus. So let's just get rid of half of these. Okay, we get rid of that. And then we are not using Euro, so we can get rid of that. And all we need is these three files right here. Okay, so we're going to cut this. And we're going to go to its firmware folder and go to the RX. And we're going to paste this one right here. Okay, now we can uh, safely eject. There we go. Disconnect. And let's just go ahead and plug in. Oops, that's wrong. This goes to the middle. And the ground goes to the outside here. Okay, now we're going to hold the menu button down, go to page, go to firmware, go to FreeSky RX, go to our new XM right there. Okay, click that. Oops. And we're going to flash the XM with the RSSI on 16. Why not? 
So we're going to flash the S port, and you're going to see this light blinking right there. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can get my hand out. You see that blinking? Okay. I'm just going to set that like this. Oh, while I moved in, I lost connection. So we're going to do it again. This time I'm not going to touch it, okay? Let's do this, and let's bring this one under like this. All right, here we go. There it goes. So we're going to let that write real quick. I should take some of the glare out, I think. Okay, and then, while that's happening, let's look at the GPRC and see if we can get this ready. So it has a cool little connection here. And we're going to, I guess we're just going to cut that. What happened? Did I do something again? Let's try this again. Oh, the ground popped out. My bad. Got to quit moving on this thing. Let me put something down to hold. I'm going to put this motor right here and make sure that, no, make sure that doesn't move. Let's exit and do it one more time. And while that's happening, I will work on this. Okay. Okay, I was going to say, I didn't touch it. I thought it was beeping because it aired out again. No, it's done. All right, so that's done. So we'll plug the update cable. Let's take all this out. And let me just get ready to tin these. Okay, one. Two. Three. Put some paper underneath it or something so we don't get any solder or anything else. Let's tin it and get it going. Okay, so there we go. That's tinned. That's tinned. And that's tinned. Now let's tin our receiver. God, how close is that helicopter? Can you see it? Like, can you open the door? And I, I wonder what they're doing. Is this a raid? It's gotta like literally be right here. You will. Listen, seriously, it's right here. Oh, it's below the clouds. Okay, so we've got our receiver plugged in. So now what we're going to do is, before I go and finish all that off, let's just go ahead and make sure everything's working before I do the um, shrink wrap or heat shrink. Maybe we're in a raid. Raid! All right. Uh, Tell me he gave me a battery. Please tell me he gave me a battery. Oh, he did. He gave me a battery. Two. I mean, it's got to be right here. It's good knowing y'all. In disguise. Hold on. Huh. I don't think that makes me look better. Are you looking out that window when it's on the right side? I, I think he just left. 
He said, that's it, we're out, deuces. Ooh, this battery, this, this, this is no bueno. Okay, so we have, excellent, so we have this part. Now let's just go ahead and put this in bind mode. Okay, solid red light in bind mode. Firmware updates there. Red light's blinking. Bind is blinking. Hit enter when it's done. Unplug this. Watch this. Plug it back in. Green light. We're bound. I know, babe. Seriously, look out the window. All right, let's go ahead and plug this in beta flight now. And look at that, we got the radio to work on this too. This gentleman is going to be happy because all his stuff is going to work off of one radio now. Let's go to modes, arm mode. Uh, they've got these backwards, so I'm going to move this. I'm going to basically set it up just the same way. So add range. So let's go ahead and flip it here. Uh, this is very strange. Let me go ahead and do this real quick. DPS? So they may be looking for somebody. DPS would be Department of Public Safety. What's wrong with you? I'm telling you, they're hey, they're looking for someone. There's a manhunt. You better check the news. I don't want to. I'm not going. I ain't going down like this. Let me go to CLI. I just want to see what they've done here with the version here. Uh, 4.2.5 STM32 F411. I'll leave that. That's fine. I'm not going to worry about that. So let's disconnect. Let's reconnect. Yeah, I know. So just make sure everything's locked. Is it weird to throw out trash yeah, not a good time to throw out trash. Okay, let's connect. Alright, uh, I'm going to go see you guys. I'll be right back. Let me see what the heck's going on. Went and got my pistol, and good luck, babe. Hey, you walk out, you walk at your own risk. Okay, let's see what we got here. So we got that. Uh, our beeper is that's correct, but we will put beeper here. Oh uh, wait, you know we'll do flip over after crash. So he's gonna make that the same thing. So I'll just stretch beeper all the way across. Pre arm, nope. Um,
Yeah. Okay, so that's done. So let's test it real quick. Let's flip it over. Let's see what we got. Okay. What's happened with this thing? This thing doesn't even look right. There's something totally screwed up about this. So let's connect. It's just getting, oh, there's something wrong with this setup here, man. Something doesn't make any sense. Let me go to my ports real quick. So the ports have, okay, and that's it, right? Yeah, so I, I can't imagine this. So I'm just gonna go back to the CLI here and I'm just gonna type defaults because there's something that doesn't make sense. Let's connect these real quick. Let's connect back up. Did it error it all out? Why, what's up? Is there a problem? It says to use the Maytech F411 as the target. That's not what was on here, so what happened? I was going to try and explain what was done or like how that would have created an issue, but I didn't know the term, so I just left it. Guy doesn't want to pay for the work done, then he doesn't get his stuff back. What do you want me to say? No, I mean that's that's. I, mean, I don't get it. He he ruins he, he damages his stuff. That's what I was trying to explain. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. So tired of these entitled waste of life. Okay, can you miss? Where are you going? I'm gonna get. Going. You done for the day? I'm done. For you the kidding day. me? It's one twenty-four. I did all my orders, but they boys get back at three. Psh. Man, this is cheap labor. I'm telling you right here, nobody works hard anymore. No, I do. I know, I'm just kidding. I love you. I, oh, and I'm taking red wires and black wires home to cut. Oh, that bin has them. Oh, look, now we got our accelerometer and we got our battery okay. voltage. That last bin on the second shelf, there's like a little thing all the way at the end. Keep going to the other thing. Look there in the, on the side. You'll see like some old... Oh, yeah. Okay. 
No, that's fine. But I, I happened to see them yesterday. That's fine. Sound good to me. I don't think we need soft cereal. Uh, we'll take telemetry gas. Uh, again, we'll flip air mode off. Okay, Mama, I love you. Do a big good now. Shoot, I forgot to turn in my prescription. Darn it. My other stuff will be ready. I think there's stuff there for me anyway. Uh, no. I have cash here. If you need. It's right here. I love you. Be safe. I love you too. You be safe. They There's a killer on the loose. Well, they didn't find you. <laughs> you be safe. Yo, what's up? I got scared by opening the garbage can. Uh-huh. He's going to be hiding in there. Yeah. Yeah, you better be careful. <coughs> okay, babe. Thank you. Have you already sent this guy's invoice? Who? The guy who's cursing at me right now? The guy who, for his radio? Yeah. Okay. I sent it like Gotta love these people who have, have little little brain power left in their brain. Oh, he's he's just cursing. <coughs> all right. So uh, hold on. Let me just finish this work here. So there we go. I think we're all set. Air mode. Um. Uh, now let's go to motors, and let's go to arm this. <coughs> Let's select. I'll do one, two, five for right now, just because I can. All right, I love you. I love you too. Be safe, babe. I, will. I love these people. That like to talk like that. No room for that in this world. Not in my store. Morons. All right, now. Uh, there we go. Oh, we have nothing here. Let's go ahead and put this in. Put this in. All right. <coughs> Sit still. And then, oh, actually, I'll leave it like that. Let me do a calibrate accelerometer. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Sucker just scared the creeps out of me. All right, so let's see what happened here. There we go. There we go. Can everybody just calm down? Woo, sucker's moving now. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. All right, so we're good. We are a little good. It scared the crap out of me, though, but we're good. Um, I'm surprised here, though, something would be that maybe they would have um, smart audio somewhere. So I'm curious if they have. I do see four wires out. I wonder if they put it on UART1 or soft. Uh, let me see if this works. I don't know. I'm going to check real quick. Let me, let me unplug this a bit for heat. Oh man, I love hearing that. Let me go over here though. 
and see about the setting of smart audio. Uh, let's see, okay. Do they offer a... All right, so here we go. Let me see if I can find that. That scared the crap out of me, man. I was not prepared for that. So it looks like you are two, yeah, for the receiver. You are one, there it is. So you are one is for smart audio, which is, I'm curious. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my monitor here and see if I can get smart audio to work now. So we'll test this real quick. Now, the problem is I don't even think we have a VTX table. So do we? Uh, of course not, okay. But that's not the issue. So let me just get my monitor. Let me get any out here. Let me show you. I'll show you guys what I'm looking at here. Okay, so there is. Oh, not looking good here because we have no camera signal. That can't be good. We've got a battery full, but we've got nothing coming from the camera. What happened? What happened? What happened? Come on, Dr. Begoose. For right now, okay. I'm curious though. Oh, sorry, guys, I'm not gonna be able to answer. And I'm gonna have to mute that for the time being and go into a do not disturb mode. So, sorry. Uh, so, the question I have is we do have smart audio now working here. But we have no camera picture, so now we have another problem. Entirely different issue, which is why don't we have any image from the camera? We should because we've got plenty of voltage. Uh, it does say it's ready, so good. So, Oh, it's my son. Hold on, guys. Hold on. <laughs> How cool. Hold on. son and his girlfriend are here that's the first time they stopped by now that he got a license it's cool all right so we're missing the camera we have no video so we're gonna have to figure that one out but all right so this is cool so we know that it's working we just have to get the vtx cable i'm gonna stop the video real quick uh guys i'm gonna stop the video so i can go talk with my son and his girlfriend this is pretty cool and i'll be back in just all right guys we're back here uh <laughs> Had a little fun. My son got to stop by. I'm sorry, but man, it's the first time and his girlfriend was here. It was just cool. So we got to enjoy the moment. So uh, we back to the drone here. Uh, we have no video, so there's definitely something going on here. I need to check this out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open it up now and try to see if we can find out what's going on with the video. I uh, don't know if the camera's bad or what have you, but let me just let's just get to it and see real quickly. Um, at the same time, I'm charging the batteries, so uh, that's that'll be handled here shortly. Well, where did that one go? That screw just came out. Oh, I see it. All right, let's just take this. You know, we're take this canopy off. Let's take that one. I'll turn my phone audio back on but guys just please understand that I cannot answer and will not answer at this time uh, okay so now let's remove the camera Let me move that here 
We've got the rum cam. So what I'm going to do is uh, I think we have another one of these. Let me go see if I can find a run cam man real quickly. Um, pretty sure I have one. want to see something equivalent and if this isn't it then, then I mean if this doesn't work then I'll find something else but right now let's just see yeah. oh it's the other end of the oh, god darn it you know well I'll tell you what for the sake of testing this out what a pain Why, why can't you guys just get on the same page with this stuff? Of course, it's not going to fit. But I know I got the I know I got the uh, run cams here. Just for some reason, you don't know where they're at. So now we're going to have to rig this up just so we can test this. Actually, I can test it with any camera. Then, if that's the case, so let me do that. It's just becoming a nightmare. Ugh. Alright, so I've got to have a cable here. Just want to see the camera work. That's it. I don't want anything more. Just see it work. Uh, let me log in here. There we go. Bear with me a second, guys. My wife told me I had to turn in my uh, medicine refill request. Here we go. So we need this one. And 
this one, no, and this one. Okay, this has been submitted. So here's what I'm thinking, right? So I've got a three, I did have it, where did it go? Here, in this bag here. Three to three. So let's just make sure the plugs are gonna be the same. So here we're going in yellow, black, and red. Identical, perfect, so let's do that. Yellow black, and red, yellow, black, and red. And let's see, I wonder if this would work. Oh, my God, would this be cool? Just for the sake of just seeing this, for testing this, right? Okay, so that's in, that's in. So let's see, I've got the monitor here. Okay, so we'll turn the monitor on. You guys can see that. I don't know if this will power it, but we'll find out. So let's just see. Hey, video works. So I guess, now let me see. I mean, like I'm a little shocked here because this camera shows no sign of anything that would cause it to not work. But let me see now. What if I, hey, it's alive again. Holy crap, Ola. We're back in business, baby. Perfect. All right, let's turn everything off. Let's unplug this. No need for a new camera. We are now, now we're cooking with grease, boys and girls. Now, things are coming together. And now I've got to put all my stuff back. Ah, shoot. Okay, so one. Sometimes they stop, just don't work, man. Could have been a loose plug for all I know. But it's working now and that's what matters. So this gentleman does not have to buy anything else. That's good news, I love it. That is music to my ears and his I'm sure so we put this camera back okay just like that put that in there just like that close that just like that all right put that aside that'll go back cool we're cooking with grease all right so now let's start putting this sucker back together so first things first put this back in here Oh, yeah, I guess it was. And it just really seems not right. Can't imagine that's right, but. I guess it is. It's a long ass screw. <laughs> this guy, you guys heard, this guy is like cursing at me. And, and, then, and then he blamed the translation software. It's like, I can't help it if Google Translate. Uh, Google Translate doesn't translate the F word by accident. I mean, I like that, but don't, 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 don't be an idiot. I mean, it's one thing you're just ignorant, but now you're just being stupid. So the gentleman decided to try to flash his radio, messed it up, asked if we could take care of it. We did. And we charged him $35 to unbrick it and to get it updated and everything. And the guy is pissed that we're charging him 35 bucks and that we're not shipping it back for free. And I'm like, hey, listen, dude. Um, sorry, but these doors don't stay open because of some free work. And uh, I'm not really sure what the hell you're talking about. So that's that. Uh, anyways, I'm very disappointed extremely disappointed that people still believe that things are free if they demand it. And he's like, I demand you give me my radio or my money. I'm like, well, I don't demand shit. I mean, how about you just actually pay for the work you had done and demand to quit being an idiot? I mean, how darn. So anyways, slowly we're going to shift out of this retail side uh, where we help everybody under the sun. And we're just going to, it's going to be a little different over the next couple of months. 
more more hands-on work with frames, more custom work, more doing repairs like this and helping people. And it's like I tell people, there's no talent in retail sales. Like as far as I sell HGLRC, you sell HGLRC, you're buying HGLRC. And then I gotta sit there and help. I gotta sit there and if HGLRC does something wrong or I don't know, any other brand does something wrong, now I gotta listen to people yell at me. Nobody's yelling at HGLRC for it though, right? It's just, they just, they don't get it. And so at the end of the day, I've got customers that will understand we do good work and I've got customers that just try to get away with anything for free. So those customers I will kindly send to the other stores who don't do anything but sell. And I didn't realize this, but most of the people out there, most of the stores out there, they don't do labor. They literally just sell. So they're like, here, buy this from us uh, and then take it, you know, if it breaks, we can't, we, we don't do any labor. We don't do any repairs. We don't do anything. Look, man, that's all good and well. No disrespect to them. But at the end of the day, I just, there's no talent in that. That's just all about money, money, money. And I, I mean, I get it. Money's important. But where's your, like, I mean, like, when your stuff breaks, I mean, what's the difference between you and the next guy selling? All you're doing is doing a bidding war now. Here you're literally just reselling somebody else's crap. It's like that thing on Pretty Woman where the guy says, we don't make anything. We don't buy anything. I mean, they don't do anything. Right, and they make a ton of money though. But you want to like, don't you want to have your hands in on something and actually do work? I mean, instead of just hey, how much did we sell today? Cool, we're still good. Well, I'm not dogging them. I'm just saying it's like I can't do that. There's no talent in that. Every time this thing goes off, I wonder if it's this douchebag. Let me see, is it him? Oh, now he's writing in Spanish. El sir, el douchebag, stop writing me. I don't appreciate the cursing, so I'm not going to help you. How's that sound? How do you like the apples? Anyways, so we do, I enjoy labor. I don't really like the sales. I like the labor. I like the repairs. I like the building. I like the getting creative and designing a frame, you know? And, and that's just exciting to me. That's the fun part. That's hands-on. That's like being productive. I mean, it's just something about that that's really rewarding. I mean, I'm not here, and, but don't get me wrong, biggest, wealthiest companies don't really make anything. They just resell. Look at Amazon. Look at Walmart. I mean, they just sell other people's crap, and they do it at a discount. And they are the reason that we have so many people thinking they're entitled. So, because people get to complain and get their money back when they cry like little babies. Oh, man, it's not fair. Man. Look, dude, you break it, own it. Stop being a baby. No room for babies here. Is that my, it's my soapbox. I'm on a soapbox right now. Oh, I gotta stop doing that too. <laughs> I think I put this here, make it easier. I think that would be pretty good. I think that would work just like that actually. No way you can reach the blind button too. So let me just do that. This guy, where did my, Tip time to drop it. Oh, let's go. Imagine if people had to actually take responsibility for the stuff they did. Oh my God. What a crazy world we'd live in. Ooh, that's my boys. They hit right me. know what happened on this drone man because I mean it had the wrong firmware everything was pretty much done wrong on this but I mean to, to have the firmware done wrong there's something up like somebody you know somebody did that I'm not really sure how what the story is behind this one but I, whoa, whoa, whoa I'm not trying to cut the antenna here whoops but I'll be glad to to be able to let the customer know that it's you know it's taken care of now it's just really is weird to me when when I see things that have the wrong firmware you always just have to wonder like, what the heck happened all right so there's only one antenna on the XM unlike the uh, XM plus and so forth but I don't see a reason at this time to put anything else in so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna retuck this back under here like they did and I'm gonna leave both wires just in case the customer ever does uh, upgrade uh, you know what that's not really <coughs> I'm hoping this will go just a little bit if I can get it to go just feed it just a little bit more up there maybe all right I think that's gonna be good enough I don't see any problem I don't see 
anything at a risk of damage there. But I'm going to take this and fold it up. Take this one and fold it up. Okay. I'm not worried about this part of the antenna, actually. Uh, I don't see that posing a problem. If I did, I would change it, but I really don't. So, uh, never mind. Now I'm looking at it, and cosmetically, I don't like it. So, we will just take this antenna off, and we'll put a new zip tie. There you go. It's a little bit bigger zip tie, though, but that's okay. Okay, now let's do this. Gotta like a these. Let me go get a couple heat shrinks. Couple heat shrinks right here. Yeah, that'll be better. Alright, so let's heat shrink this one down. Now, let's have to be able to think of pretty hidden, I guess. That, this side. Y'all, like that. Okay. Let's see. There we go. And then we got that one under there. And so everything looks good here. All the stuff is put back in. Um, I don't see any problems here at all. I know that they did have this zip tied here. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this zip tie here just because. I don't think that's gonna cause an issue. So it was meant to, I guess, keep those wires in line. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Perfect, I think this is gonna come out great. All right, let's go get the uh, batteries. They are fully charged now. Okay. A good fit right there, actually. A one and a two. Hold on, one, two. Look at that. All right, let's check our camera, make sure we're good. Holy crap, we are golden. Okay, so we do not have um, the VTX table yet. I'm going to still try to get that, but let's go ahead and see. What Welcome worked? to OpenTX. Oh, thank you. Ooh, this, this, Switch warning. This prop is bent. What happened here? Okay, so props are good here. One of these is Whoppy Job. It's this one. Let's try to lift this one up if we can. Well, there you go. So that prop is broken. Wonderful. I wonder if you gave me any extra props. Please give me extra props, sir. Please. Tell me you sent me some. No. Well, I gotta test it, so let me see what I can put on there. I don't think these are gonna fit. Oh no, these are too big. Um what these these are too big. Wonderful. This is getting worse by the minute. These are too big. Why? Why does the prop have to break? Right as I'm getting there. Okay. Now I'm on the hunt for props. Never fail. Always on the hunt for something.
Give me one second. They all have them here. sit there and spend hours looking at our props because we've got 35,000 propellers and trying to find the right one. Oh wait, here's some other ones too. Okay, so if this doesn't work, nope, I don't think so. Let's try these. All right, let me unplug this thing so we don't cook it. And right now, let me just go ahead and Replace all the props so that I can get a fair flight out of this thing. Actually, these are the exact same props. These are just three blades. Uh, okay, so I think he's got the. I think he's got the motors reversed. Who barely fits? So we'll put these here. Sounds like a phone was ringing, but all right. Hopefully, that's going to work for now. Okay, now all I want to do, I want to see. Woo! Sucker's ready to go. Okay, I think we're going to need to calibrate. Uh, let's do this real quick. We're going to need to calibrate uh, the motors here. I know I put it on one shot, and there's a reason for that, and that is because I want to make sure that everything is calibrated properly and there are no issues with the ESC. Other people do it differently. I don't. This is how I do it. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in, and we're going to go into beta flight here, and we're going to go to motors, and we're just going to go here.
think I can do it because of the fact that it's giving voltage to the board anyway. Wonderful. I can't do it. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. I know is that these are not set right. I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead and take it then. We'll go to D-Shot 150 and call it a day. Okay, let's just save it. Now, let me see. What, my, my issue is that the starting point of these motors is not where it needs to be in 125, but at the same time, uh, it's not helping me right now to, so let me just see where I'm at much better yeah perfect all right so that may actually work out well let's go to our modes let's make sure everything is right okay okay so let's disconnect all right I think we're good now so let me go ahead and line these back up And then let's do this so you guys can see when this thing takes off. Okay, so another thing that we're going to need to do now is go back in now and check to see if it knows the props, for example, are reversed. All these little things that I gotta make sure of, I forgot to check on. So let's go to motors and let's do this. Let's click save. If this doesn't work, then I'll do a motor. I'll just make sure that all the motors are resourced properly. I would assume that they are, but you know, I probably could have checked that too. So I'm just hoping that they are resourced properly. But if not, we will change that here in the next minute when we plug in a beta flight. If I just get this stupid thing put in plugging. Okay. Here we go. Trial number three. Radio gotta go. Drone gone. Woo. Now you can see the screen. Woo. Hey, sweet. Let's send it again. Woo. I would say that's success, boys and girls. This is a job well done. Congratulations to the new owner, or to the owner. Sam, I know I said your name earlier when I called you, so I can't hide that. Uh, but this has been fun. Um, so I broke the prop. I'm sure you have more. I mean, it was it was a bent prop. I just tried to straighten it and it broke, but I'll go ahead and take the blame for that one. 
Uh, so the only thing left really is the VTX table, which I'm going to go ahead and see. Let me see if I can find that real quickly. Uh, let me see. So the GEPRC. Uh, let me see. Um, Let me just see. If they can give me the BTX table. That's an expensive little sucker. Holy crap. Oof. I ain't cheap. All right, if I can get the uh, BTX table, I'll load that for you too so your smart audio will work. 319. Good lord. For. Okay, so it says change log, ship today, our new remote control, the new charger, whatever. Just give me the uh, VTX table, please. I would really like that. Um, it says the camera, camera, this one was the Caddx, but uh, where is the info on the VTX? support downloads I don't know support downloads okay the there it is the tiny go I don't need the how to bind I need the uh, not the CLI either I need the let me see tiny go BTX table okay so the VTX 200 whoop and we'll click that that should be it right there and hopefully they give you the table they give it to you but they don't give it to you to download but come on you've got to be giving it to me to download don't do that Okay, so I see it. So it looks like we're just gonna go ahead and enter it. Ugh. I'm gonna try to compare it. Let me look at the table and compare it because USA FCC standard, uh, I think this is gonna be standard anyway. So let me just go ahead and connect and go to VTX. Let me see if I can just import a standard one. So let me do load from file. Uh, and then I'll just go to, um, what the hell, where did I put it? I think it's on my desktop. I know I did one. Uh, crap. Hold on. Dude, there's no way, come on. You know what? I'll just cancel and I'll, I'll go download the probably. Do they still have to put that up here? Yes. Thank you. I'll take that. I'll load the basic one from here. Let me just check this out. Oh, you guys can see that. Sorry. There's the one I wanted. Ah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, import this one, load from file. Let's go to our downloads page. And we're going to take this one. Okay. And then let me just verify. I've got 585757577. There's nothing here. There's not a sixth bin. 
So A, B, E, F, R. Six pad is gone, so uh, we need to go to five. Uh, and then we have 45, 52, 85, 60, and 95. And three is 25, 71, 65, 80, and 32. And then 590 and then 5665 would be here. 5800, 5769, then 5785, 5809, 885, 820, 806, 65, 828, 905, 840, and 43, 5745, 5847, and this one will be 5905, <clears throat> 5860, 5880, and then 5725, 5866. This is 5905. All these are the same. That's why they're blank. I see. Never mind. My bad. 5880 and 5917. Okay, now power levels, uh, I think, are going to be. Uh, is this one power? Okay, so it's got 25, 100, and 200. So, so, so what we'll do is we'll do 25, 100, 200, and then pit mode, which will be pit. Whoops, why isn't that typing? Zero? I guess you can't type. Oh, zero. And this will be pit. Okay, and we've only got four power levels here. That is perfect. So that's what we're at. And we want to start on E5 at 25, okay? And the reason we're going to do that is because that doesn't interfere with our, our wireless system here. And now I'm going to save this so that in the future we've got it. So let's save this one to um, uh, GEPRC, uh, tiny go. But the actual item is the VTX200, whoop. All right, so we'll save that for future reference. Now, the cool part is, is now that we've done this, when we disconnect, right, we can take the quad now, take my screen, just to make sure it works. Let's just go ahead and plug in the batteries. Okay. Now, this thing should automatically be set because I told it to go to uh, E5. And E5 on, the, um, on their thing, E5 should be... Uh, 5885 and what is it showing here let me see let me cover this camera 5880 so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it right and and I think to do this let me just cover up this camera so you guys can read the screen this is the best way to test this okay so let me just do this here okay and I'll just put this little cover on here hopefully it'll just stay on for just a second okay so you can read the screen right and what I want to do is I'm just gonna go to like E6 or something so there's smart audio features and then what I want to do is I want to go to E Let's do an E7, all right? And then we're gonna set it. Yes, now, there you go. See how my screen went out? Perfect, that means it's working. So now if I tell it to search, I should, let me see, it's gonna scroll here and find, I hope this, I think this TV can get that frequency. I'll keep breaking my little antenna here, let me see. Okay, there we go, okay? And E7 is 5905 and I'm on 5900. So, no, I'm on 5905, perfect. So it works. That's exactly what we wanted. So smart audio is now hooked up. Man, this is perfect. So listen, guys, we are done. We hooked this thing up. We got this one running on an XM Plus, uh, or an XM, that is. We got his other fly. We got his Flywoo running on the um, on his uh, R9MM. So, and, and again, let me show you just to be clear. Flywoo has got to fix this here. So at least we don't have any arguments in the future. The R9M is not a receiver, okay? So they need to fix, the R9M is actually this. This is the R9M, okay? Not the receiver, so this doesn't tell you jack. Uh, and like I said, we've had arguments about this with people before and they tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm like, look, man, I don't have time for this crap. Uh, I, I know what I'm talking about, that's not a receiver. This sucker is good to go, that GEPRC is good to go. The gentleman can now use one controller for it all. We, I consider this a success, all right? It is Friday, it is now 2.49. This is like a two hour, two and a half hour repair. But it's fun, isn't it? 
All right, guys, listen, God bless me. See, I got more coming your way. I got some quads to build. I got motors to test. And I'm telling you, we're going to slowly get out of this retail side and really get into the custom side because at the end of the day, that's what's fun to me, okay? Uh, and and I, I, I mean, I'll still do retail. I got half a million dollars worth of retail here. I promise you, we're still going to do it. But it's going to be done a little different, all right? I'm going to do it. I'm going to select my customers. I'm going to, you know, if you're nice to me and you're a good person, I'm going to, I'm going to sell to you. But if you just want to be a, an asshat and you want to be rude and you're trying to, Live the American dream while you make every American company nickel and dime it for you, you know, so that you can get everything that you really normally couldn't afford. I'm not in for that. Go to Walmart. Go somewhere else. They can all have you. Go to the stores that don't do labor. Go to those guys, right? I'm not hazing them, but God darn, is there a big difference when you, you know, you, 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 you do this hobby, you, you buy and sell. Good for you. But when you're doing something like buy, sell, and repair, and very few of us do that like we do, all right? Um, and so I do take pride in that. And that's not dogging anybody else, but it, does, it is what sets us apart. So you pay that cheaper price if you can somewhere. But when it comes to repair, guarantee on some of those brands are going to send you to me to repair it. Anyway. All right, guys. God bless me. Safe. Go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left. Go make the most of it. I get my boys tonight until Wednesday. Thank you, court system. You finally came through after four years of screwing me over. Peace, love, have fun. Bye.